much to my chagrin. <laughs> Not really. Uh, Crystal found some more black baldies um, uh, on uh, Craigslist that we're going to go pick up three new uh, heifers uh, just a little way, ways downstate in Beaverton. Um, we're switching. Not completely, but we're switching over from Corriente. We're expanding, I guess is a better way to say it. We're expanding from the Corriente to some, uh, we call them beefers. And we kind of like the Black Baldies because it has that Hereford in there. That gives you that calm demeanor and that uh, good personality. Um, and some size. And some size with it. And it's a heritage breed. It's uh, one of the oldest breeds um, in America uh, that was brought to America um, back in the 1800s. And then the other half is uh, Angus. Um, sometimes they have a little bit of um, something else in there, some short horn, but typically Angus and, and Herefords. So we're gonna we're keeping the Coriante because of the extreme health benefits to them, okay. and everybody's going to be grass raised, right. grass finished. So Which, they're all going to be healthy. Right. We found that that's really where the majority of those benefits of like the omega right. threes and the leaner beef and stuff like that is really coming from the the grass, grass. fed yep. portion grass fed grass finish which right. is important right i mean we can do the custom finishing for some people sure. if they want it um but some people want that big fat juicy corn finished uh, steak and sure we were capable of doing that but um mostly we're trying to um Reach to the people that want the health benefit, that love beef and want to be able to eat a lot of beef, healthy beef. Um, and we've seen it experienced both in, in our own lives where our you know, where family members have struggled with high cholesterol, dangerously high cholesterol, right. and customers that have had high cholesterol and now just after adding adding our beef to, the to their to their diet, not changing anything else, but just adding our beef, their cholesterol has come in check. So Which is just ridiculous. It is. It's yeah. pretty cool to see. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see yep. kind of some print outs of, of more of those numbers from some of the customers because we've sure. seen them from our family members too. Right. You know, and it's 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 pretty cool because it's been all age ranges too. Right. You know, well, young and that's the way God created those cattle is to be grazers on grass. Right. You they know, can make a living their, off of something their, that yeah. we couldn't. You know. Yeah. So. So we're excited about these three because yep. they'll go into our breeding program. Yep. Yep. And so that'll give us. Um, Good number of mamas. Oh, Jordan and I were counting this morning. It'll be something like ten for next year yeah, around yeah. there. We've got um, three that we probably won't breed this year because they were late heifers, born late, and so we'll carry them over till next year for breeding. But yeah, got two of these at least will be able to be bred this year as uh, long yearlings, and then uh, the one was born late in the year. Yeah. <coughs> so we'll probably just wait to. Yeah, he, her next year. he was saying he didn't even think that cow was pregnant. He's like, oh, well, I got an extra heifer out of yeah. it, I guess. But yep. he, he wasn't even sure that she had caught. So yeah, First time heifers, that's kind of the way it goes. You're yeah. never quite sure. So we'll see. We're probably about an hour or so out now. And see if yep. we can see how they load. He seemed like he had some pretty good fence setups just in the one shot right. that I saw. But you never know how. how yeah, he had a up. Richie Waterer in the background. That's bad. So that Pretty means bad. he's raising some cattle or something there. Let you know what we get to next. So we're rolling on our way back. Yes. From hitting but, our girls. But with some grief too. <laughs> there, there was. There was yeah, there, we, there. We, we had two missions today. We did. One was to go pick up these three heifers. Yep. Which turned out very successful. Yep. They're nice. Look like nice heifers and they're loaded in the trailer all tucked in and riding along nicely. The other one was we were in the midst of Amish country which has world renowned Amish bakeries and 
Could we manage to get to one? We drove on six <laughs> miles of dirt road, it was rougher in cop, to get to the Amish bakery that was closed for the season. Yeah. So I am suffering greatly right now with some depression. <laughs> because I didn't get any the Amish bakery <laughs> stuff. Uh, it's, and it's really I have cute. to admit, I'm pretty upset. We're, we're discussing his, you know, mental health and how icing might yeah. just help that. I had apple fritters, old-fashioned donuts, chocolate chip cookies. cookies yeah, some bread, bread in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah a loaf of fresh bread, bread that you can make toast out of. Oof. The loss is real. The loss is real. It is, yes. Cattle are good. Yep. Pros loss is not so good. <laughs> We all have to it's make bad. sacrifices. It's bad. We've been in the car for apparently too long. Apparently. <laughs> uh, we are excited about our heifers, though. Right. That's they, true. They are, they ended up being, um, uh, like you said, the three black baldies, but their moms were herefords and their dad was also a black baldy. So for us, that's good because it means they're actually more so like 75% herford, right. which is the direction we wanted our mamas to lean, anyways. Yep. So we'll still get some. There is that. <laughs> but no pressure. No coffee. <laughs> coffee has run dry. Coffee has run dry. <coughs> it's a little, little, little parched. Man. <laughs> we'll see if we can make it back to the ranch. Yeah. There will be chocolate chip cookies made at the ranch tonight, though. Not by him. Not by me. <laughs> Here we have a rancher and his daughter entering their natural habitat. They broke. Dad's bringing hay. Occupy him so when we introduce the new girls. We are about to introduce some new friends to the herd. As you see the cows are super ready. Announcing the call of their people. an instant game of tag. Yeah, they're a little amped. How's it going, Cordoba? Hey, Cordoba. Hey, Quam. 
<laughs> yes, I'm not a new cow. Run, be afraid. That's the new one in the front. This is normal. Establish a pecking order. That's also normal. Makes you wonder why the tree looks that way. Hmm. Yep. Can you imagine now? Just walking down the hallway at work. Take your face. Start rubbing it aggressively against the wall. Yeah, that's right. Good work, number two. Right off majestically into the sunset or something. Yep. There's some more new ones. Oh boy. Go see the new hay we put out. See, there's work. I had my Coriante hat. Yes. Or better yet, your Core Seven hat on. Or I mean, Core Seven, right? Yeah. We gotta get. We gotta get some. Gotta get it. Right, right. right. yeah. I don't want my Core Seven neck rag too with yeah. my brand on it. It looks pretty cool. So, Car Plank or Paradise Lake? Where, which one do you think we should go to? We'll go Car Plank. That's the one that's most commonly used. Oh, okay. well, I'm just asking. We, we can choose. We can pick her up from Car Plank, or we can pick her up yeah. from Paradise Lake. Yeah. Depends on how nice she turns out to be. Right. We're on our way to pick up a Hereford heifer. Hereford heifer, yeah. How old is she? She was born September of uh, 2021, so she's not about six months, a little over six months old. Yep. 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 And she is, and she's not 100% Hereford. She's actually 50% Shorthorn, is that right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Her, her dad was Shorthorn, and her mom was a Hereford. Yep. And so, so got a nice guy up there um, in that. Paradise Carp Lake area, and um, they have a, a little herd that they run of um, some shorthorn Hereford, a few black baldy crosses, a yeah. couple different ones in there, some Coriante yep. Angus crosses, yep. right? Yep, just kind of a compilation of a whole bunch of mm -hmm. things. Yep, and so we're going to swing up there and see if we can get her loaded up. Yeah, she, we probably won't breed her this year. We'll probably wait until next year because she's pretty young, but um, she looks pretty nice in the pictures, and and hopefully um, she'll mature into a good mama cow for our herd. And he's been doing a real good job. He uh, he had a seven way for her, right? Yeah, yeah. He's already given her her vaccines and been warmed and stuff. So that's, that's always nice. appreciated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we try not to vaccine a lot, but we do give them a little bit for their safety mm -hmm. and health. Especially when you're bringing in cattle from different places like this, you've got to give them a little bit. And that's just the like the growth period that we're in right yeah. now too. Is that we we are bringing in more cattle, so we try and quarantine them a bit, make sure that they're healthy from right. where we're picking them up from, and, and things like that before we mix them in with the rest of the herd. Yep. But it gives us a chance to um, you know hodgepodge, get some here and there, and then hopefully someday. Herd. Right, that would be our in-game goal is to have our own herd, just uh, that we don't have to buy out for heifers and stuff. Right. That's uh, where a lot of these really cool breeds have come from too, yeah. you know, like the beef masters and the, uh, you, you develop them from these good beefer breeds yeah. that you can cross in and get kind of the traits you like out of the mamas. Well, a, a variety of breeds of, they like, the, the owners like different things and the different uh, animals and so they come up with their own breed. Well, it's kind of like the quarter horse. You know, we think of that as, right. oh, I have, a, I have a purebred quarter horse now. But it's quarter horse is just a compilation yep. of those different breeds yep. that worked well and did the right job for the right task. Yep, started out as uh, Mustangs and Thoroughbreds. Mm -hmm. And that's where they started with the quarter horse. Now there's a mixture of more in there. But So we shipped some yesterday morning out to camp yep. um, with Tim and Hannah. And one of those was 2-Bit. 
who yeah. uh, was number two's uh, 2021 calf. Right. So she got the extra bonus of staying on mom um, all winter long. And, uh, and she she's a hoss. She's, she's a good, good. She's yeah. a good looking heifer. Um, but that means that number two is uh, looking for her baby, and then we're bringing in this mom or this uh, okay. heifer yeah. calf who is going to be looking for her mom. And so we'll see how they get along, or they might buddy up a little bit too. Right. Yeah. So. And at the end of the last video we posted, where we um, had number two there mooing like crazy at the end. That was <laughs> right after the weaning. So you okay. see, she's still like, "Where's the calf? Yeah. Where's my calf?" Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. animated. It's she's pretty sad because she's looking right. for a calf, but it's part of the process. Yeah, yeah. It's, you, ha you have to do it. And you want to, and you want to see that. Um, that mothering. level of protectiveness, uh, yep. that mothering yep. um, from our mamas too, because yep. that's what makes them good and attentive all the time to right. try and raise them. Looking out for their kids. Yep. So we'll see how this one goes. Cool. That's mama there. So, just picked up a new calf. <laughs> Hereford Cross. This is mom. Hello, mom. Uh, that's a short horn dad. How old is he? The ball? Yeah. Three. Three? So he's a three-year-old. Short hern. First path. Chip calves. Yep. I love those it's a good hair hairstyle. Short horn cross steers, and they look so funny out next to our uh, quarter right now because they're so fuzzy by comparison. They're supposed to be seven, eight short horn and an eight high well, one. Uh, yeah. Very high uh, Yeah. yeah. And so fuzzy. I, I'm not good mom. They're not uh, seven eight Highland and an eight short horn, but this little marky black calf I have. Yeah, Carl and his son are so nice. I broke off of well, I didn't have a head gate, so that was coming they're all cash. good. Uh -huh. But they're not. I was like, Any significant amount bigger than her at six months. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> 